Good morning guys, how are you all doing? Bit of a different video today, I don't normally review stuff as most of you all know but um, it's not really about a review, it's more of like an experiment on um, the expensive things versus the budget version of things, you know? The whole um, van life thing kind of, it, it, it's best to budget. The way I'm doing van life, it's best to budget. <laughs> Because the way I do van life is, well, I try not to work too much because this stage of my life is more about experiences than buying stuff. And I used to have this belief, maybe still do actually, but that uh, the more expensive something is, then the better it is. It's going to be better than its, its cheaper counterpart, which I think there is some truth in that. However, the difference in these two products is like a, about six times. I could have six pairs, six pairs of these for one of these. So. The question is, are these six times better than these? I don't think, I don't think they're gonna be six times better. But the only way to find out is of course to test them against each other. So I'm gonna focus on five things. Um, the aesthetics, like how good they look. So I think we can all agree they're both really sexy. What's it like to swap the lens out? And one pair of these goggles has a really cool feature to help with this. Okay, lens swap. Oakley's first. Ouch. Now I know these are a bit more difficult to get in than they are to get out. But to be honest, I could do with um, maybe having another lens to fit into these, but this has kind of always put me off having to change them like this. Well, that's not so bad, that's pretty easy. Yeah, that's fine. And now the Awenia. Now remember I said these had a pretty cool feature. Oh yes! I like that, but I'm not too sure if that's gonna cause some issues out on the mountain. Like if you real face plant hard, I mean the snow, is it gonna pull that off? I don't know, maybe. And how much of a deal is, is it if it does pull it off? Another good thing with the magnetic lens stop is you don't get you Fingers all over the lens. Greasy fingers! It's like so difficult to get off. But why is it on my fingers? And then how they perform? Did they mist up at all? How did they perform in low light? And what's the field of view like? Okay, let's go up the mountain. And I'm not getting paid for this, by the way. Do I need to say that? Is it? I didn't, I'm, well, there you go. test is pretty, could be any better. It's perfect. These at the moment, I'm seeing pretty fine. I'm gonna check the other ones out in a sec. So I don't know how good the audio is going to be on this, but first thoughts in terms of the lens and visibility. I, I, to be honest, I don't see the difference in the prism and like the uh, the benefits it really gives because I can see perfectly with these, just as well as I could with the Oakleys on. Uh, so that's probably one of the main points. As for comfort, I instantly notice these don't feel as nice on their face. Uh, they don't they fit so snug, and um, air comes up and blows in my eyes, it kind of makes my eyes water a bit. I saw the whole draft coming into my eyes thing, I just tightened the strap up a bit and uh, problem fixed. One thing I've just noticed with this pretty cool feature of the whole magnet changing of the lens is is uh, if you take your goggles off like this, fine. But if you grab with one hand, then that tends to happen. Um, 
So I've had I've had no issues with misting up or anything like that. The low light performance has been pretty awesome to be fair. I'm hoping I'm going to put these back on now and be like, oh, actually, you know, Prism is pretty sick. Okay, first things I noticed, um, a little bit of a happier colour, comfier, but my field of view is actually a little less than these. I mean, it's only a little bit, but you know, your peripheral is important. I'm not sure if the low light of the Awenia is actually a bit better. It's a negligible difference. So guys, what is my conclusion? Well, um, I still prefer my Oakleys, you know, they're, they're the ones I would pick to have. But in terms of value for money, Sen! In terms of value for money, then you can't argue that those, those are one-ear goggles. They are like, it's, it's pretty astonishing actually how good they are for the price. Hope you enjoyed the video, even though I know it's not what many of you subscribe to the channel for. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Sen, can you say bye? Sen, <laughs> bye. <laughs> she is nice really, she just, she's just noisy. Alright guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked it, if you did give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and ding my bell, because you won't even know if I've uploaded a video otherwise. Cheers guys, see you on the next one.